Mm. Bourbon tastes so good. And this bourbon tastes pork chops. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Tender, moist, and juicy, along with this cabbage stir fry. So good, baby. So good. Oh my goodness. Cheers. Hi, friends. I'm Gastro Guru, and welcome to Gastro Guru Kitchen. Hi friends, Gastro Guru here. Today for you, I'm going to be making bourbon glazed pork chops. Now people always complain that you know, the pork chops come out dry, uh, they're not cooked well, and the problem with that is that they don't ma marinate that. There's you know, a couple of ways of making them tender. Either you, you know, put them in a brine and leave them you know, in the fridge for a while, or you marinate them in whatever marinade you want to prepare for about eight hours, then you pat them dry, and then you, you know, pan cook them, so, or pan sear them. So that's what we're gonna do, and so let's go with the process, all right? All right, friends, so here I have two center cut pork chops, and as you can see, they're pretty large. The total weight is about one and a half pounds. So what we're gonna do is, we have to first score the fat that's on the side, so that when we cook them in the pan, you know, they did not start to curdle and the pork chops, you know, they don't kind of start to fold in. And because that's not going to cook them evenly and it doesn't look good. All right, so that's first, let's do that. Okay. So basically what we are going to do is, the fat, you know, it's not that much on here which is a good thing. So basically this is what you're gonna do. And you know, once it's done, I'll show it to you. So you see how we scored the fat? That way, you know, it's not gonna curdle up, all right? And I'm gonna do the same thing with the second pork chop, all right? All right, friends, so to marinate our bourbon glazed pork chops, we're gonna start by preparing the marinade. So in this, I'm gonna add about a quarter cup of good quality balsamic vinegar, okay? This is from Italy, real good quality. Next thing I'm gonna to add to that is a quarter cup of olive oil. Again, this is good quality olive oil. I'm going to add that. Next thing that's going to go in there is one tablespoon of thyme and rosemary. So this is dry herbs, but you know, they'll give it an amazing flavor and you know, it'll smell fantastic. Next thing that's going to go in there is about one tablespoon of sugar. You can use brown sugar ideally. If not, you can use regular, okay? Uh, then we're gonna add about a teaspoon of salt, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some heat. So I'm adding some freshly crushed black pepper. Okay. And then I'm going to add some smoked paprika because you know we want not only the heat but we also want the color. Okay, that's looking good. And I think at this point I'd like to add a little bit more olive oil and a little bit more of the balsamic vinegar. So now what we're going to do is we're going to whisk this. So the sugar and salt, the balsamic vinegar, all that kind of blends in, into a nice marinade. 
So you have the, the oil, the olive oil, and then you have the balsamic, you know, sweet and sour. You have sugar, your paprika, and then you have crushed black pepper for heat. And this is looking fantastic. Now, you're gonna put the pork chops in here. Oh yeah, and we also marinate the sides. I want every, look at that, that's looking amazing. Or the same thing with the second pork chop. All sides, including the fat. Oh yeah, that's looking amazing. All right, perfect. Now I'm gonna wash my hands. And what we're gonna do is cover this the plastic wrap, okay, just like that, and then I'm gonna just cover it, bring it in the middle properly. There you go, you see, very good. Make sure there's no gaps, it's covered nicely, and in the fridge, it goes for eight hours. All right, friends, so it's been eight hours. We marinated our center cut pork chops. They look amazing. And this is gonna ensure that they're, they're gonna be very tender and juicy and flavorful. So now the next thing what we're gonna do is we are gonna put them in a plate, take them out, and then lay it on this plate like this. What I'm doing is dripping the excess marinade. Okay. All right. And then we're gonna put the marinade aside. Now what we're gonna do is pat these dry so that you know when we sear them in the pan they're not soggy. All right. So what we're gonna do now is again Add salt and crushed black pepper on both sides. Okay, the salt them. Okay, now we're gonna flip this. With pork chops, and again, dry. And then toss the napkin away. And again, we are going to add some crushed black pepper on top on both of them, on the other side. We already did the first side, the top side, and then again, a little bit of salt. Not too much, just a little bit, okay? Okay, so now, these are ready to go in the pan, all right? All right, friends, let's check this out. Look at how amazing it here looks on the fat. Perfect. So now, what we're gonna do is start curing the pork cap on one side. So this is on medium high. And then, after two minutes, we're gonna flip them with the other side for two minutes. Take them out the plate, all right? All right, so let's see the sear on the other side of a pork chop. Oh my God, look at that. That's fantastic. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's see the sear on the other side of a pork chop. Oh my God, look at that. That's fantastic. Oh my goodness. All right, so at this point, you know, the pork chops are out, and I'm gonna add two cloves of chopped garlic. Now, as soon as the garlic begins to brown, we are going to be adding bourbon. Oh yeah, after all we are making bourbon glazed pork chops. And they're going to be so tender and juicy because we marinated them for 8 hours in balsamic vinegar, 
and herbs, rosemary and thyme and a whole slew of other things. See, our garlic has begun to brown. Okay, so at this point, and you gotta be careful, I'm gonna be adding good quality bourbon. Alrighty. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna glaze the pan with the bourbon. Quality also, all right. So now I reduce the heat to low, and basically what we are doing is letting the bourbon evaporate. At this point, you want you know that liquory alcohol is going to go away, so that's what we are doing. And now. What I'm going to do is add uh, two tablespoons of butter. Oh yeah. Now at this point, I'm going to put those lamb chops back in there. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm going to pour the juices on top. While these are being seared, what we're going to do is baste them or smother them with the bourbon butter sauce, you know, or glaze. See, I'm also doing the sides because I want all of it to look good. So there you have it folks, uh, amazingly delicious bourbon glazed pork chops. They're fantastic, they're tender and juicy. We marinated them for eight hours. And check out this amazing recipe on my YouTube channel, Gastro Guru, as there are many other recipes and videos for your cooking pleasure. All right, thank you very much and bon appetit.